this is one of the winter jobs. So we've already pre-done this one, so you can see the finished result. There is no more ties. This is all new today because the old um, tape was getting a little. Anyway, so we're going to show you this one and how we do it. Okay, hi. So we're down here to take off these ties. So one of the best things of shaping in the shaping zone is one, the tree won't hate you, and two, we can remove all of these ties and it'll basically stay in the right spot. Um, they also retain their position because they have, the cells have already formed inside the tree, although you will see a little bit of bounce because the tree has some flexibility still. Let's cut. <laughs> So now we can just generally chat because I'm just going to hold it in position here while you take it off and we'll speed through this part. where the tree has stayed um, adjacent to the wire and here is obviously where the tree has decided to flex flex its muscles <laughs> okay so we're going to tie this down and then um we're going to tape this down tie down leads to other connotations <gasps> mother okay so we're going to tape this down and i thought i was the guilty party anyway <laughs> so we're going to tape you know actually tape sounds fast now <laughs> so we're going to tape this down so that it no longer um so that we we can go along its proper path that we have decided is its proper path because i'm sure i'd be very happy to go up this way because treats want to get as much light as possible we got the tape and now we're going to add the tape so, an interesting thing I noticed, my mum and dad do it differently. Mum likes, ah, I have no nails, mother, this was a poorly planned. <laughs> okay, so luckily both my parents have nails for them, but I don't. So this is more difficult than it needs to be for me. <sighs> okay, so one thing is, you have to put the tape on the wire. So my dad has a long thing and then he goes around. Yeah. He normally does cut this off, but um, I'm doing a mash at the moment, which is not proper for my dad's style of taping. And we go around three times. Oh no. After going around the third time, cut it off. It doesn't matter where the tail where the tail goes. Now my mom has nails, so she likes to go really close. Crazy woman. So as you can see, this is pretty close. She puts it on and she does this so that there's, oh my goodness, I'm not even doing it right. I'm not doing her justice. Okay, so she puts it on really close so that it's easier to get tension. Oh my goodness. This was a poor spot to demonstrate. Three. Now luckily we don't have to worry too much about these ones because they'll end up coming off. The other one is you pull off a length of white tape, guess the length, and then you just wrap it out and how many times you got. So this is the third method of taping, which is guess and pray <laughs> to whatever deity you may or may not believe in. I don't want to cut my tits off. That'd be a fun video. Today I cut my titties off. <laughs> so just gonna have to pray that this is the right amount of length. One, two. Three. Ah, pretty close. The advantage with that particular method is you don't have you, this big bulky thing in the way. Yes, which sometimes you doesn't work with the design. But the other advantage is as you put your thumb on it, once you've made the first round, you can actually put quite a bit of tension on the tape. Not again. Okay, so I thought that I was mentioned, nice, good to mention, that this is no special tape. It's just tape that we bought and have cut roughly down the center so that we have the right thickness, which does mean it's more prone to tear in places where it shouldn't. As you can see, it's already decided this is a good spot. 
which can be quite frustrating. Um, and if you're doing this at home, you need to make sure you're careful with the leverage of the knife because you could cut yourself and we're not going to be held liable for people doing Being stuff that they legally shouldn't do. We don't advocate this except for what we do. <laughs> we do it ourselves. The reason why these are tied so apart is because it's no longer growing and it doesn't need as much reinforcement as it did when it was growing. Is reinforcement the right word? Reinforcement's close enough. So we make sure that we put these ties when they're taken off into a bucket. I think I mentioned this earlier. But these are just um, recycled bags that you would buy at the store. You do have to check their... Um, it's the right sort of plastic. tie in places that were previously tied on. Yeah. You shouldn't tape. Tying's fine because tying with shopping bags doesn't really hamper the growth much. But taping, re-taping the same spot's not a good idea. Okay, so I wanted to show you this, how it's different from the normal bark. This is because it was under the tape and it didn't have any um, sunlight. Also, it was starting to restrict. Little, oh, you can see little divots here from other restrictions. Seems like I probably should have taken it. Anyway, so I wanted to say that this doesn't actually have any effect on the final piece, but let's say um, we decided to leave this piece on. Eventually, the tree would try and encapsulate it. Good enough? Good enough. 